here because the outside world rejects you. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another Turtles Updates video where we talk about some of the latest Ninja Turtles news stories that have come out in the past few weeks and put it all together into one big video and talk about it. There's a bunch of stories to discuss from the new TV series that's on the way to new collectibles and merchandise. We're going to talk about it all. So yeah, it should be a good video, but let's go ahead, waste no time and dive straight into it and take a look at story number one. And then speaking about looking ahead to 2024, there is going to be an animated TV series that's going to be produced by Nickelodeon that launches in uh, April of 2024. All right, so this first one has to do with the new upcoming Paramount Plus show, Tales of the TMNT. This is the show that's going to take place in the same continuity as the recent Mutant Mayhem movie, but that is going to be 2D animation instead of 3D animation. And this bit of news is coming over here from the YouTube channel, First Look Toys. They had recently done an interview down at the Toy Fair with the Vice President of Marketing for Playmates Toys, Pat Linden. And in this interview, he talks about the recent toy line for the Mutant Mayhem movie, but and then he looks ahead to 2024, where he discusses the toy line that will come out for the new TV series. Now, he doesn't show any of the toys, but he does say that the new show will come out in April, which before this interview, we had known it was going to come out sometime in 2024, but now we have the month thanks to this interview. And yeah, it looks like sometime in the spring is when the show is going to drop. And for those who don't know, this was greenlit for two seasons, so that should be a lot of fun to cover when it starts dropping. But yeah, as for now, that's all the news on the new show. Tales of the TMNT will be dropping April of 2024. All right, let's move on over to the next story. All right, so this next one's coming over here from IGN.com, and you can see the headline right there, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin 2, Re-Evolution Exclusive Preview. So yeah, this is our first preview, our first look at the official sequel to The Last Ronin. They did have that prequel story, The Last Ronin, The Lost Years, which is now wrapped up. Go watch my review on that one, by the way. We broke down everything that went down in the prequel. But yeah, now we're going to be getting the sequel to the original Last Ronin storyline, and that's having to do with the four new Ninja Turtles that we saw at the end of the the original Lash Ronin story. But yeah, now they're all grown up and ready to go. And they're being trained by their master, Casey Marie Jones, who is the daughter of Casey Jones and April O'Neil. So yeah, just a quick refresher for those who maybe haven't been following along. But let's take a look at the preview here. You can see the first page here has Casey Marie in her familiar purple and black suit, except now she's rocking a cape and she's wearing like a half mask that looks like the Casey Jones mask. We did see her use this mask at the very end of the prequel story, The Lost Years. So yeah, you see her saying, you idiots have no clue when to quit do you and you see her kicking someone as well as some type of like rumble going on behind her looks like a bunch of group of people are fighting and then you see some type of monologue say we know these scumbags we've fought them before yorkville warriors this is their third attack on this base alone in as many months and then you have this big two-page look here and you can see it says the last ronin 2 up in the corner and then the monologue continues and it says same idiots but something's different each time better weapons slightly more disciplined and always larger numbers they're planning their strikes more carefully, not the usual smash and grab routine. Then you see Casey Marie Jones say, let's go guys, wrap this up. Pincer move and block the damn exits. And I want at least one of these punks left conscious this time. We need answers. So yeah, super interesting. I wonder who's attacking them here. You can see that the rest of the preview is a continuation of this scene. We don't really get the new turtles here. So hopefully we see more of them in the actual book. That's probably the thing I'm most excited about is seeing how they handle this new team of turtles. You do see an update here on the release date of the last Ronin sequel. It's says The Last Ronin 2 issue number one was originally scheduled for release in December 2023. However, IDW is now pushing the release date back to February 28th, 2024. So we're going to have to wait a little longer for it. Hopefully that means they're taking their time to make this story as good as they can make it. But yeah, what do you think of Casey Marie's new look? Are you excited for The Last Ronin 2? Let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, let's move on over to the next story. All right, so as many of you know, it was recently announced that they're going to be doing a Masters of the Universe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover action figure line. Now, there's been some more details that have come out since the announcement. If you look over here on the official Masters of the Universe Facebook page, we can now see what the figures will look like in the packaging. You can see some images and video there that they posted, but that's not the only bit of news that has come out. If you look over here on the foreternia.com Twitter page, you can see here a post that says a closer look at the rear packaging art for both Leonardo and Man at Arms. 
Masters of the Universe Origins Turtles of Grayskull figures by artist Axel Jimenez. And you can see pictures there of the back of the packaging art. And first up, we have this awesome image here of Leonardo and what looks like is going to be the Shredder in this crossover. We hadn't seen Shredder as one of the figures that they revealed, but it does look like he's going to be on the way at some point. But yeah, this looks to be the packaging for the Leonardo figure. If we look at the next figure here, this is for the Man at Arms figure. And you could see him there fighting this crossover's version of Krang. And this looks pretty sweet here. Next up, we have the packaging art for the He-Man figure. You can see He-Man there, mutated, but there in the background, you can see Shredder up to no good. And then the next image we have here appears to be the packaging for the Donatello figure. And you can see him right there. But yeah, cool art pieces there for the packaging. There is another little bit of news here regarding this crossover line. If you look over here on Freddie Williams II's Twitter page, you can see here that he retweeted a conversation that he was having with someone. And you can see that his reply reads, now I can finally talk about this stuff. I didn't design the toys. They are awesome designs, by the way, but I am drawing the mini comics that will come with the toys, which that's pretty cool news. For those who don't know, Freddie Williams, who's been involved with Turtle crossover comics before, most notably the Batman vs. Ninja Turtles comics, was working on a Ninja Turtles He-Man crossover comic that got canceled a while back. But now it does look like it's happening and it's going to be something that coincides with this figures line here. So yeah, pretty cool to see that happen. But yeah, not much else on this one. Just some stuff floating out out there that I thought you guys would want to check out. Let's move on over to the next story. Alright, this next one's an interesting figure, and it's coming over here from the Twitter page of Heat Boys. You can see that the post reads, After meticulous craftsmanship, the alloy transforming Ninja Turtles Leonardo Mech TMNT 01T is finally here to make its grand entrance. Stay tuned for more updates. And you can see pictures there of the figure, and it's of this Mecha Leonardo that appears will also transform into a turtle party wagon, which that's pretty wild. It must have been like super hard to engineer to get all the pieces to fold right like that. Super cool. You can see that it comes with like a Leonardo Leonardo in the chest that is also the driver when it turns into the turtle van. Now this one's not to be confused with the previous Heat Boys Mecha Leonardo figure that had come out. That one was a bit different and didn't transform into the party wagon like this. But yeah, like they said, stay tuned for more updates. All that's been shown so far are these pictures. Let me know down below what you think. Pretty cool figure if you ask me. All right, next we have this quick one here. This is for a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Clog 2 Urban Combat Michelangelo statue. And you can see pictures of it right there on the Mighty Jack's Instagram page. You can see Michelangelo there and he's wearing some sneakers. He's got an outfit on. He's got a boom box over his shoulder. One picture that they shared that's pretty cool is this one here that shows the tease to feature figures that are gonna come in this statue line. You can see here Michelangelo, but in the background, hidden in the shadows, you can see the other three brothers. And you can kind of make out what they're gonna look like, but we don't have a full view on them just yet. But yeah, what you think of this clog 2 ninja turtles collaboration let me know down below but let's move on over to the next story all right, these ones are pretty interesting here. And this is coming over here from culturefly.com. You can see it's the Ninja Turtles, Scott Tolson figures, and you can see them right there. The description reads, Cowabunga, the turtles are designed in a whole new way. Get this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figurine set by the amazing Scott Tolson to add to your collection. These are limited edition collectibles that you don't want to miss out on. And then it says each figure is 11 inches tall, including the banner. Then it says removable banner and ninja weapons. And then it says soft vinyl material. And you can see all four turtles there. You get some shots from the front, some shots from the back, and yeah, just some pretty cool unique figures here at a decent size of 11 inches. Let me know what you think about these. Not much else on this one. Let's move on over to the next story. All right, this next one's also coming from Culture Fly, and you can see right here on their Instagram, it says, we heard you loud and clear. New TMNT melts are now available for purchase on our site. And then it says, add the four turtles plus Splinter and Shredder to your collection. So yeah, for those who don't know, these are like these vinyl collectibles that look like the old popsicles that you used to get from the Ice Cream Man. I believe they've released the turtles before and they probably had sold out on them and that's why they brought them back. But I don't remember if they ever did the Splinter and Shredder one here. I believe these are new, but I don't think those were ever actual ice creams that were made. It would have been cool if they were though. But anyway, still super cool that they're here in this collection. If you look over here on their website, it does look like the Shredder one is still available and a couple of the Turtles. But I don't think we've seen the last of these. If you look over here on Previews World, you can see an upcoming item here for shops. Looks right there that they will be in shops on December 27th. And that's more of these Culture Fly melts. You can see them there in the display. And they come in this like packaging that looks like the ice cream. So I feel like there's definitely going to be more opportunity to get the Turtles in stores. So yeah, keep an eye out for these to drop sometime around December. 27. But yeah, that's all the new info here on the new TMNT melts. Let's move on over to the next story. 
All right, these next ones are kind of interesting. They're both coming over here from eBay. Although I have seen some people say that they've seen these at Ross. And that's for these Mutant Mayhem Air Hockey tabletops, as well as this Mutant Mayhem foosball table. Pretty cool couple of items here. Let us know down below if you've seen these at any actual stores. As for now, they just seem to be here on eBay. But yeah, that's a quick one. Let's move on over to the next store. All right, this next one's coming over here from 707 Street, and you can see that they have some new Loungefly backpacks for each one of the Ninja Turtles. The first one that had come out was Michelangelo, then Raphael came out, then Donatello, and most recently Leonardo. So yeah, now they're all four up. Not much else on this one. Let me know what you think about these. All right, this next one's coming over here from Skull Candy, and you can see that they've done a collab with the Ninja Turtles for some earbuds and some gaming headphones. You can see them right there. It says with interchangeable ear gels and headbands, so ear gels for the earbuds and headbands for the gaming headset. You can now play as Mikey, Leo, Donnie, or Raph. All four colors are included. So yeah, cool collab here. You can go check these out on their website, but that's it for these. Let's move on over to the last few stories. All right, so the holidays are right around the corner, which means so is Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and it does look like the Mutant Mayhem Ninja Turtles will be getting afloat in the parade. This is coming over here from The Hollywood Reporter, and you can see a rendering of the Mutant Mayhem float. You can see it's going to have some buildings, and then you're going to have all four turtles on like the rafters and the roof of the building. You can see a big Mutant Mayhem sign up on the top there. You can also see Superfly climbing up the side of the building and Bebop and Rocksteady riding their motorcycle out of the front of the building. So yeah, keep an eye out for this one during the parade. It'll be cool to see the footage that comes out on this one let me know what you guys think Continuing with the holidays, you can see over here on the Paramount shop, they have some new Mutant Mayhem holiday merchandise. You have a couple sweaters here. You have a Christmas sweater and a Hanukkah sweater, as well as matching Christmas and Hanukkah wrapping paper. You also have this Christmas ornament here, which I'm not sure if it's like ceramic or something, but I would imagine it is. You also have some youth t-shirts here that look like match the adult sweaters. So yeah, pretty cool holiday stuff here on the Paramount shop. All right, and lastly, closing off again with the holidays, you can see over here on Amazon that there is a Mutant Mayhem Ninja Turtles chocolate-filled Christmas Advent Calendar now available. Although if you look inside, the little chocolates are just like classic Christmas stuff, like a Christmas tree, a stocking, things like that. Would have been cool if they were like Little Turtles characters. But yeah, that's it for all the updates. That's pretty much the latest news in the world of Ninja Turtles. Let me know what you think about all that. Also, remember to subscribe if you're new and you want to catch more Turtles videos like this in your life. Remember to follow on all the socials. Links are down below in the description. I will see you all in a little bit with another video. Take care.